I went camping at Dalek Astronomy Village again and I brought along the Redcat 51 telescope, a uh, great wide field scope, and my Dobsonian for some visual work. I actually got a lot of visual work done. I looked at the uh, Dalek group and Stefan's Quintet as they passed through the zenith with that Dob. It was really great to be able to see those objects. Uh, this is a look at my tent. You can see my mat was inflating, getting ready to put my sleeping bag on top of that once when it was good to go, but that's where I spent the night. And uh, yeah, my targets for the evening were the Heart Nebula and also the Horsehead Nebula. And uh, I think they turned out pretty well tonight. We're going to take a look at my guiding. So this is a look at the guiding I was able to achieve on the Heart Nebula. It actually started off pretty rough. I had to uh, change the exposure length with the guide scope and guide camera and also the aggressiveness on the guiding in phd2 and i was i managed to get under one arc second but at a, a little while there i was actually guiding about 1.1 and there were some moments when it went a little haywire but uh the stars were looking pretty good uh zooming in they were quite round i was i was very happy with the results that i was achieving with this guiding so Overall, uh, I was able to collect about six and a half hours of data, I believe, on the Heart Nebula. So it was a very good, very good guiding for this object tonight. And later in the evening, I transitioned over the Horsehead Nebula, and my guiding was even better, about 0.8. Uh, so I was pretty happy with uh, the results I was achieving on, on the Horsehead. Maybe just a different section of the sky. The guide scope was, you know, just able to work a bit better. But overall, very nice on the Horsehead Nebula. And I got a lot of work done visually with the Dobsonian, had a blast. Uh, looked at M31, M32, M110, you know, the Andromeda group. Uh, and of course, as I mentioned, when the uh, DLA group and Stefan's Quintet passed the Zenith, I got all those. They, they looked really great through the scope. Got the Sculpture Galaxy and NGC 288, a little globular cluster next to the Sculptor. I actually saw that first before the Sculptor. Sculptor had some good modeling detail in the center. I uh, got Orion Nebula, Flame Nebula, all kinds of clusters around Cassiopeia, Caroline's Rose. It's just an absolute blast. And when I came back home, I added more data onto the Horsehead Nebula with a L Extreme and an L Pro filter. So the resulting image is going to be a combination. It's about 15 hours, uh, including the three hours I got at Deer Lake and then all this additional data I collected at home. So I'm quite happy with the result. Let's uh, let's take a look at the images. I really like how the Heart Nebula came through. Uh, this is just with the UVIR cut filter, about six hours of data from those portal class three skies, one shot color camera, and it just looks fascinating. This nebula is about 7,500 light years away from Earth. And the Horsehead Nebula is just a fascinating target. I've been amazed with this since the early days in my astronomy. And uh, I really wanted to do it justice this year, and I put about 15 hours of data into it. This is three hours with the UV IR cut at Deerlick, uh, eight hours with an Alpro filter in my own backyard, and the remaining hours are an L Extreme from my own backyard. And I, I really like how I was able to retain a lot of those uh, colors in this image. This target is about 1,000. 375 light years from Earth. Thank you for watching and uh, please give a like or thumbs up to the video if you enjoyed this. It takes a lot of work to, to create these images and, and put this uh, video together. And uh, if, if you'd like to follow me along with more of my astronomy-related uh, extravaganzas, <laughs> uh, please uh, consider subscribing. Uh, it lets me know that you enjoy this content and, and you'd like to see more stuff like this. So thank you again.